there it is. Okay. So this is what my learning snapshot looks like so far. And again, it's a little messy because I literally just did it. Okay. And all I've done is I've written the objective at the top and I've got the definitions from the book. So axial skeleton are the bones that form the longitudinal axis of the body and appendicular skeleton. And I'm underlining these words because these are the vocabulary words, right? That we need to learn. Appendicular skeleton are the bones of limbs and girdles that attach them being the limbs to the axial skeleton. Now, longitudinal. I've heard the word longitudinal before. Longitude and latitude, right? So I'm going to kind of make a note here. And I'm going to draw my version of a globe. So these lines are latitude. And these lines are longitude, right? Because I want to make sure that I know what longitude means. So longitude means up and down. Inferior and superior are longitudinal terms, right? So longitude is kind of like, and this is an analogy, longitude is kind of like uh, inferior and superior directions on the body, okay? So now I need to make a diagram and yes, you do have to draw your own diagram. And I'm sorry, I had to leave the chat. I was helping someone in the middle and you have it right what you typed in there so your diagrams they don't have to be beautiful wonderful diagrams here's my diagram you ready okay it's not even a skeleton and that's okay because i know there's a skeleton in there right i can accept that so what I want is to demonstrate axial and appendicular, okay? So I'm gonna do that by color coding, axial and appendicular. I'm gonna go ahead and make axial green and appendicular pink. And this is a rough idea. This is us starting to play with this idea. We're gonna talk more about this idea in class <clears throat> on Friday. So axial is the longitudinal. So longitude runs up and down. So I'm looking for structures that are along the inferior and superior axis of the body. So that's going to be this stuff. Okay. And appendicular is going to be the things that are attached and the girdles that hold them on. So there's my diagram. I didn't label any bones, right? But I managed to get a diagram in that is effective in showing where's the axial. So the axial is gonna be the structures that are located along the longitudinal axis of the body, okay? And then the appendicular skeleton are the limbs and the girdles that attach them. So limbs are your arms and your legs, okay? And your girdles, so your shoulders and your hips. All right. Now we need to do an analogy, right? I don't have the slide up, so I don't know if I'm missing something that I had made a requirement or not. So our analogy will be axial is to appendicular as Now, I talked longitude and latitude. For me, axial is like longitude and appendicular is like latitude. Now, honestly, my brain works different than most people, so I would be shocked if that's the one that you came up with.
And this is a snapshot of what I know about axial and appendicular. That's why I'm calling this a learning snapshot. 